Hi, Dr. Young. Nasa, Lulish. You're like a movie star couple, baby. Do you see that? Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, you are a movie star, heavenly movie star couple. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you, Dr. Young. You're always encouraging me and inspiring me. You want to share it first? Um, I'm going to be short. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, yeah, Reverend Young, we are really grateful for your ability to embrace all people. We know that that is a true parents' heart, but it's not, uh, it's what they want to do, but it's not always what uh, we experience directly. But I think through you, uh, people really feel true parents' love. And uh, we are grateful for you for encouraging us uh, to do more and to think uh, more big. And we wish we could keep you here, of course, but we know that your mother needs you in Korea. So, um, and Korea needs you. And eventually this will benefit the whole world. We know that. And we wish you absolute success in your mission there. We know that you are mother's secret weapon, like a nuclear bomb. So <laughs> we let you go. <laughs> well, this was from my heavenly wife. Thank you to parents that uh, they match me with such a wonderful wife. So, dearest Dr. Young, you brought love through love to thousands of heart and tears to many eyes for two and a half years in America. You planted seed of heaven to everybody's heart and foundation of faith stronger and foundation of substance as well. You are an forgettable man of God in America. You truly feel your piety son of God and man of inspiration for two reasons you become such a loving dr young first you born like that your personality from birth also because of true parents also dr johan lee that trained you also divine principle you came to los angeles december of last year and you got so inspired by me i'm surprised and by me and my wife, of course, as UPF director in LA. You taught, <clears throat> you told me, I'm unique, I'm unique peace federation. <laughs> you inspired me and praised me so much that I don't deserve that. You decided to come back to LA with Dr. Jenkins and Kelly Moffitt on March 25th and taught divine principle to all our guests and emphasize that all our organizations should work together. You ask, um, <clears throat> you ask me to bring 50 guests and I brought 51, one more, <laughs> top leaders, which you taught us uh, to work together. And also you taught us to work from top to the bottom. Make it shorter. Uh, Dr. Young, <clears throat> yes, you, um, you uh, brought this seminar. This seminar happened because of you. So all of our guests are your spiritual children. And he asked me on and on, when Dr. Young come back to Los Angeles? I don't have so much answer for them. I'm going to send all of them to Korea, Dr. <laughs> so, I just want to show some of the picture, can I, uh, so you can remember some of, uh, some of these guests, and you can pray for them. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, if you're young, these are the pictures, just remember I'm going quick. 
and this is you. I keep all of these pictures and I really enjoy to listen and remember all of this uh, moment that you really, this is Dr. Jenkins and Jelini, this is uh, Chief of Police, I mean, the Sheriff Baka, that he was so famous and she was so moved by you and his wife. This is the biggest uh, Sikh leader in Western Hemisphere. He was so moved by you. These are Scientologists, five people from Scientology came. These are all my guests, Dr. Jenkins. And these are the people that came. And you see how excited they are. And you can see Kayla Moffitt with uh, Reverend Anger. And you see this uh, wonderful picture. I just found that is the lady in the back. She's an Iranian lady that she traveled all over the world with bicycle and climbed the Everest mountain. And this is again some of picture of you and our guest, Dr. Jenkins. Joshua, so excited to see you. This is Rebecca Holden, a famous singer and actress from Hollywood. And these are our other guests. And this is uh, what we, uh, and this is wonderful. This is you, Dr. <laughs> Young. You hug people and hold them for a long time, my gosh. This is Kaylin Moffitt gave a wonderful speech and this is again Rebecca Holden brought the guests also these are from Hollywood so again me and Joshua Dr. Anger she was so moved by you and uh, Rebecca Holden again and uh, yes my lovely wife and uh, Barry Gellers and these are ambassadors for peace Native Americans, and you can see uh, Imam Budakchi. So these are the guests, Dr. Young. They love you, and I'm going to send all of them to you. <laughs> Dr. Young, Thank you. you You also asked me <clears throat> to the witness and mm. find 3,000 ambassadors for, uh, for peace. and. I'm going to send them, all of them, also to you. So you better to welcome them in Air Force 3000 and hug them. And I know you hug them for a long time. And I wonder how many days it takes time. I just calculated it takes about one to two days to hug all of these people. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Nasa. Uh, thank you. And uh, this young girl, so you told me to, <clears throat> yes. Uh, you told me in the, one of the conversation in the phone that since I inspire you so much, I cannot run away from you. Mm -hmm. I told you that, yes, sir, you also cannot run away from me. So you <laughs> see me in Korea, Dr. Young. Yeah, okay. So, Dr. Young, last thing I want to say to all brothers and sisters, I know this Dr. Young doesn't want me to say, but I have to say that in order for Dr. Young to be very uh, successful in Korea, I know he never asked any help, any donation or anything, but I know that he goes to Korea with uh, empty wallet. So also I can, I wanna really ask everybody to be generous and give some donation to Dr. Young. Oh my goodness. Please, please ask your leaders how you can offer donation and be generous to him because two and a half years he nourishes us spiritually so it is our turn to contribute something to him make him happy and he be successful in korea so dr young i'm gonna see you in new york hotel on 28. All right. i don't want to leave you alone to go to korea All right. i want to come to your if you can buy a big luggage I can fit me in your luggage. <laughs> I'd be happy to come with you along. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, uh, NASA. Only NASA. Don't worry. No need to mention about the stacker support. One thing I what, what I believe. Wherever I go, God is my sponsor. So, I think as long as God is alive, as long as God is my sponsor, I think He He helped me. Thank you already, you enough already, so, so much. Thank you, NASA and only Kamsamida. Yep, thank you, Uncle Nasser.
is Reverend Michael Dickerson. Reverend Michael Dickerson. Oh my God. Well, I'm going to miss you, Dr. Young. You already know it. I'm going to miss you. And, uh, um, morning devotion. I have never, uh, been associated with anything like this before. Uh, innovative, transformative, <laughs> revolutionary. What you've done for this country. You've lifted us up. You put us on solid ground. You've given us a, a deep dive in the true parents words each and every day. And um, I'll never forget this. And uh, I'm in great, I'm, uh, uh, I'm indebted to you, Dr. Young. Never known a leader like you before. And it's uh, just what uh, Michiko Yokoyama said earlier. I have never met a leader like you. I've never met a Connell director like you. I've never met of all my 40, 40 plus years in this church, I've never met a, a man like you. And you've done things for me. Uh, you've brought, you know, Jesus's words, two parents' words, uh, brought them together. You brought God, two parents, and Jesus together in a way that uh, really touched my heart and opened up a new, like like a new horizons uh, for me as far as as my life, my life of faith is concerned, and what uh, what I can do in my life. Um, Jung Sung, uh, Jack Sarong, feel your piety, feel your piety in the, in the family, uh, bringing about a fiery faith, uh, a burning passion. It was like we were having an shield every day. <laughs> and it was just like we were having a uh, Sunday service every day. I don't know how you did it. Uh, I've given sermons before, and for someone who could just give a sermon each and every day is really incredible. And to bring together such a richness, a spiritual richness in every episode, in every morning devotion is truly incredible. It all, it all goes to show that you've been blessed by God. You've been given an incredible gift uh, by God. And, and in communicating and witnessing and really in truly touching the heart of brothers and sisters. You brought us together each and every day to break out rooms each and every day. We had an opportunity to digest the word of God each and every day, to discuss it with each other, to make plans with each other, to go out and, and to crystallize everything that two parents wanted us to do. He, you, uh, you've given us this platform, this morning devotion. And I'll tell you something. I really hope, I really hope that we, we in this country, Elder Sun Nation, can continue this in some way. Continue your legacy in some way, what you've done for us, okay? Because, I mean, if you think about it, all right, there can, this, this, we can, we can really grow with this. This continue. You went international with this. And, and so you showed us incredible love and, and each, you know, like, it just says in Matthew 6, 33, mm -hmm. seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yeah. And all these things will be added unto you. That's what we were doing each and every day. We were seeking God's kingdom each and every day. And if you do that and, and focused on salvation, total salvation, as you always talked about, mm -hmm. then God is going to always be with us no matter where we are, no matter what we do, God's going to be there. So mm -hmm. I love you, Dr. Young. Thank you so much, Mike. I love you very much, and I tell you, I'm gonna find you. I don't know where you're gonna go in Korea, <laughs> but, but I wanna find you, and I'm gonna give you a big hug. Cause you, somebody's just gonna come up and just grab you and give you a big hug. That's what that's gonna be. Uh, okay. Because and, and, you had the hugging ministry. 
God bless you, Dr. Young. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. You're a good man. I You're a good man. Really, really happy to hear you. Beautiful your reflection and dedication every morning. So I am really going to pray for your daughter, even though I cannot help substantially here, but I really pray for your daughter. So let's pray together. Come Samida Michael Dickerson, I really so much indebted to you. Thank you. I come from a subculture of morning devotion, uh, the West Coast morning devotion led by Reverend Thompson. And um, uh, I'm a little bit newer, I guess, to morning devotion. Um, and so, but I, I want to say that the culture you've created, Dr. Young, is really a testament to the love you've poured into people. Because even if I'm just, you know, um, attending more recently, I feel like I can already catch the, the wave of gratitude and filial heart towards mother. Um, yeah, thank you, Dr. Young, for being a unique expression of true parents' love and, and uh, a unique expression of love. Like, I feel like you really own the way you share um, true parents' words. And thank you for loving America and loving the culture and really embracing it. It must have not been easy. <laughs> um and honestly for thank you for owning the language like the way you express true parents words it adds so much color to it and so much heart to it and um you know i can understand a little bit of korean so when true parents speak in korean there's so much heart there and then when it gets translated that heart kind of you lose it and yeah, right, right. feel like you just like injected back into the you know true parents words like the heart and the feeling and um and i think that's what really moved a lot of people and so thank you for you know owning that um and thank you for being so expressive like i st i forgot my timer i'm sorry um like i feel like you're an actor dr yong like you like you know act out like what does jack sarang look like and you tell a story and that's so unique and it just inspires me to like inherit what what unique talents God has given me and to you know create that culture around me um, because I think that genuine expression of God will really inspire people um, yeah I've just been so moved saying you know you wish you could have um, like caught her vision more and expressed it. Um, that was really moving to me and all of the, the testimonies especially the couples those really moved me um like the uh, Ilya and diane and kathy and me and just to see how much uh, hope you've given to young couples and how much the principle can really change people's lives um really moved me and um yeah i i mean i think that's essentially what I'd like to share. Um, again, I come from a subculture of morning devotion. So, you know, it's a, the West Coast morning devotion. And I feel like they've, like a lot of them are elders, like first generation, but I get so excited in the morning to wake up and hear what people have to say and wow. what's on people's hearts. Um, and it really helped me understand my parents' heart a lot more. Wow. Um, you know, we're working on our relationship. We don't have the best relationship, but um, through through relating to the elders, you know, the first generation, I could really understand. Um, yeah, my parents' heart, because sometimes they they will receive your words, Doctor Young. You talk about the ideal, mm -hmm. and they'll receive your words, and they they will honestly share. Sometimes they feel scolded, and that. But that just hurt my heart so much because I was like, no, like, don't feel scolded. Like, you're a hero. You know, you're a hero in this journey of restoration. And as a second generation, sometimes when you share things, Dr. Young, and I hear first generation, they're like, wow, that was so new. And I'm like, that's how I've seen the principle, you know, for a while. But I, I think it's because of their foundation that the next generation can understand true parents affected by um, you being in Korea. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Emily Senda. Wow. You speak Korean well, right? Thank you also. Thank <laughs> you for your beautiful sharing as a second generation. Oh my God. Thank you, Emily. God bless you. Thank you.
Thank you, Emily. Yeah, I want to share my gratitude this morning to you and for all of the effort and heart that you've been putting into morning devotion and how morning devotion has changed my life. Um, yeah, I think um, I remember in, in 2020, I was there with uh, in Korea for the 2020 victory celebration and thinking to myself, wow, I wasn't there with true mother all the past seven years um but i i want to be in the next seven years i want to be able to be there to support uh what should parents know first desire or like you share first love um i lost track of that for a little bit but then when you came back um or when you came and started doing morning devotion and sharing with us you know just go out and um, talk to people and I think that I felt in myself and also in my um, CARP young adult community this sense of revival and reconnection to um, the witnessing spirit and energy and that um, I felt so much new hope um, from that point and continuously in the past um, couple years every um, morning your education and love and um, guidance has in many ways I felt often speaking um, through you to me to answer my questions personally whatever it was about um, not just for witnessing but um, also in um, preparation for the blessing I think many times I've had uh, questions about like, what do I do? Or like, is this right? Or how do I, I would pray about it the night before. And then the next day, what you share during morning devotion would like directly answer my question. Oh. So I think, wow, God is really living and alive and, and working um, through through you. Mm-hmm. And I, um, I felt also my understanding of, and relationship with true parents to deepen so much more as well through your word and um you prepared such a a a buffet of true parents words every morning a little bit of this a little bit of that god's and true parents that direct vessel for me i i felt it personally and um i think i speak for uh many of not just myself for many of uh, young people like within the carp center i'm living in but also people others that um you've really helped us to reconnect more deeply to god's heart mm-hmm. on uh, april level second generation of revival experience actually that was not me that was god's work that was a true parent's work how much true father